as you can see, I have gotten blackberry fields sort of kind of cleaned out. There's still a few areas around like that one. And I'm planning on planting, see these pots around. I'm going to plant those blackberries in the pots in that area. Um, moving on to the next area of the garden is the pathway. And this area I still need to clean up. And this area has uh, a daylily. This little square here has a daylily in there. Are irises in the back right here? Let me get a little bit closer. Uh, right there's the daylily, and then the irises in the back. And it's just this area right here that is part of the pathway. Um, I do believe there's two more daylilies in there as well. Unless I moved them. Who knows, I was moving things last year, left to right. But I'm planning on moving that day, Lily. I'm going to move a, um, a shrub down here and put it here. And I will be moving those irises as well. I'll put probably put the irises in front. So, moving on to the rest of the pathway. Okay, this, this area right here, there are... Um, I planted daffodils along here on both sides of the bed on that side and on this side there are daylilies um, there's a rose an iris and a rose an iris and then a rose then we have our apple tree I'm thinking about as far as it's got a sink from it expanding this right here to this next bed and putting like daylilies or irises in there. Uh, I'm, I'm not for sure right now. So, and then while I back up, oh, after I fall, that would be hilarious. Um, not really. Uh, the next bed that is besides the daylily rose bed is a bed that I tried to grow pumpkins and I have cannons planted there um there's one blackberry on, on the on the other end which is facing towards a flower garden are irises from the blackberry on up are irises um and i forgot to mention over here on this day lily rose bed there are surprise lilies in in there as well so moving on up here uh, further up in this bed there is a one day lily my plan initially initially uh, I would still like it to be done is to put all like candy themed um, day lilies and irises in this bed but as far as it's gotten is thinking about that um, then we have one raspberry that I transplanted there. Did have a climbing rose bush, but it didn't make it. And then we're moving over to this bed. Um, this bed has daylilies and it has a climbing rose bush, as you could tell. And then we're walking into the lower part of the angel garden. Um, from the pathway into the angel garden, there's a fork. You could either go right and you go into the flower garden. Or you could go left and go into the upper angel garden. But right now, I'm going to focus on the lower part of the angel garden. Um, I do have a climbing rose bush on the outside. And another climbing rose bush on there. And then we have daylilies in here a rose bush and there's one iris over here and then we have a peony which was supposed to have been shirley temple but it turned out it's not um then i have my butterfly bush and then loads of mint throughout there moving on around um on this bed i have planted last year i planted some irises up in here this area is really, really rocky. Uh, back up. We do have irises. And that iris is called Jesse Song. It's really pretty purple and white. 
Um, the rest of the, some of these other day lilies and irises I remember, some of them I don't. Um, and then there's a day lily there, a rose bush, and a, there is a day lily there, and there is a loom, a loom, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, planted in the back there. And let's move on to the upper angel garden. Uh, right here is my lily, lily pad, that's why the frogs are there. I have... Uh, I planted some irises there last year, and I know there's a big old lily right in here. And then, moving on, we have irises, um, daffodils, a rosebush, another iris, and my battery's about ready to go dead. Um, and this area pretty much has hostas. Moving on around, um, there is irises and hostas in there. And then the, we have the white lilac bush that has never bloomed. We have a peony and a beautiful white iris called Immortality. Um, up here I had transplanted this rhododendron here. We have a day, one day lily and I have moved. There are some daffodils right there. I was think, yeah, I have an iris and then a hibiscus. So that is that area, and I will show you um, the flower garden at next week, probably. So see y'all later, and God bless.